So one of the best YouTube channels for cricket cards uh, is run by a guy named Luke. Uh, it's Cricket Cards on YouTube. Check them out. I just recorded a short for him uh, with some of my Steve Smith collection. Um, but figure what I'd do from here is uh, you know just share a few of my favorites. Here is his 2008. Um, these are his 2010 rookies that are serial number to 200. Uh, I just got these mojos, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I just picked up my fifth one. All these are numbered between 28, which is this year's. Uh, some previous ones, the blues or the uh, um, emeralds are out of 30. The uh, sapphires out of 30, and uh, the red ones um, are out of 40. And uh, these blasters are out of 34, which are really nice. So I figured I'd show some of these off and then also show off some of my uh, my autograph collection. I'll probably do that as a separate video. Let me just do this one really quickly. Um, these decorateds are just really nicely done cards. These are out of 147, but there are... Um, There are parallels. These ones are actually unnumbered. The blacks look super nice, but they are not numbered. These are really the nice ones. So these are the uh, the gold priority. These are out of 40. So I have number 5 out of 40 and 40 out of 40. These have different colors as well. I don't think they did as good of a job on these. It's kind of hard to tell the difference. Uh, this one here is the really rare one out of 50. This one looks almost exactly the same. That's out of 150. And then this one is, I think, the copper out of 325. And then there's uh, this one, which looks like silver, unnumbered. So anyway, still a cool subset. And uh, again, this one's the, the toughest one. These are awesome. These tap and play cards are out of 50. That's his uh, jersey number there, 49 out of 50. These, again, different parallels or different kind of uh, versions of these. You've got everything from this one's out of 75. This one's out of, I want to say, 175. These ones are out of like 310. And then this one's unnumbered. This is one of my favorite cards. These are out of 100. And I've got a few different variations. There's ones uh, that have numbers out of 100. There are ones that are blank back out of 100. And there's ones that are promo. But uh, I sent my, my shot into PSA and got a PSA 10 on that, which is really nice. This was a redemption predictor card out of 100. This one's out of 200. This one's out of 175. These are out of 250. And again, there's different variations. So, yeah, just want to show off some of those, uh, some of their nice inserts. I think these were one out of every 36 packs or something, so pretty rare. Um, but I also wanted to show these off. Um, these golds, so this whole stack, I'll put that over here. These whole stacks are golds, and uh, the 2014 is definitely the lowest print run set, the rarest set. Uh, I did the back uh, kind of reverse math on these, and uh, by my math, I think there's only about 150 uh, golds from the 2014 year, and only about 300 silvers. And then from the years afterwards, there's between 250 and maybe like 320 of each of the golds. So still really limited. So each of these only had about 250 cards printed. Uh, so not easy to find. I got lucky to find somebody who had uh, some extras he was looking to get rid of. So I was able to pick these up. But uh, they did a really great job on these designs. So they look great. And again, really rare. Um, think about the size of these sets. And uh, the golds were definitely tough to get. Again, I think the highest number here might be these. I think these had about 350. And then silvers were about double. So this was maybe 300. 
and then the rest of these were maybe you know 500 to 600 copies each so very limited cards there and then i wanted to share this too um my friend in india sent this to me um i don't know a ton about these but um a hard to find card produced in india i would bet good money that less than 10 of these uh, made it to australia um and there's probably not a lot of these in India either. So thought that was kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, wanted to uh, kind of give a preview for this. I, um, you know, previously shared my, my 1990s Australia signed cards. This is my modern uh, binder. So and this isn't just Australia, but there's a lot of Steve Smith in here. I will uh, probably share these as a separate video, but wanted to give a little preview. Those are the three pack-issued Steve Smith autographs. So that's the 2017, 2015, and um, I believe those are both out of about 150 or 175. And then this one here is his hardest to find. That's the out of 100. Um, so those are, those are pretty cool. It's number 38 out of 100. And uh, all the rest of these in this book are uh, hand signed, so in-person signatures. Uh, but have some really nice ones in here. This is a very hard to find card. Um, and then these two are, you know, all these basically are, are harder to find inserts, period. To get them signed was really nice. So I'll go through those in a, another video.